Hey guys, I hope everyone's doing great. We're about to head into the weekend, so I'm about to tell you a little bit about an app called Airbnb. So it's a free app to download. It looks like a bright red square with an upside down white heart on there. So I'm gonna click on it and get into it. Okay, so what's amazing is you can find these great deals on places to stay if you're going on vacation. For example, me and my friend are going on a bachelorette party in July, and it was cheaper to get an Airbnb just outside of LA. Atlantic City rather than getting an expensive hotel so basically you could get them anywhere so when you when you go into the app it'll say what can we help you find so there's homes experiences and restaurants I would say the most popular thing is probably homes places to stay on vacation stuff like that amazing amazing deals and beautiful places so you can basically find one anywhere this is on like the, my home page so it says homes around the world luxury Gold Coast hinterland villa so so let's click into that. Let's just see a little bit more about that. Okay, so this is in Mount Nathan, Queensland, Australia. Wish I was going there. <laughs> Tells you who it's hosted by. You could also see their reviews and things that other people have written about the host, if they had a good experience or not. So it'll tell you on the app all about it. So this is an entire villa, villa for 10 guests, one bedroom, six, be six beds, and 1.5 bath. Sparkling clean, great location, and great check-in experience. So that's awesome. Awesome. I'm sure that's why it's on the home page and to, it's a two-night minimum tells you about the Wi-Fi kitchen what it entails and then it's only $189 a night that's awesome especially if you're going with a large amount of people since it can really sleep 10 guests I mean the only issue to me would be the only, you know the 1.5 bathroom if it's like 10 girls you need more than two bathrooms for sure or I would think at least <laughs> so that's awesome that's just obviously one of the things but you do have to make a really simple profile it's very easy to get started you could list your own space if you want to do Airbnb like if you have like I know someone that lives in Astoria Queens and she goes home a lot on the weekend to her parents house they live in Long Island so what she'll do is she'll rent out her apartment and she makes money off it that way since she's not going to be there anyway just gets the apartment nice and clean for her guests you know cleans all the sheets and everything but it's really smart to do that especially if you you know anyone has maybe like an extra I don't know if you have like an extra space in your house or apartment something like that why not rent it out to people and make some extra money that way so you can learn up about hosting earn up to an extra thousand eight hundred and thirty dollars per month credits and coupons you could list your space like we were just talking about so they do ask you some more details you know just provide basic info which would be let's say just profile picture stuff like that describing yourself booking your first trip adding a work email and a payment method which I just have have my credit card linked but you could link debit credit doesn't matter and more than one by the way so let's like let's explore let's say we want to go to let's say we want to go to Salem Massachusetts I'm picking Salem because it's I love it I think it's just such a cute neighborhood and so much fun especially in October to go to so see it's so much cheaper look you get a nice place for 50 bucks a night instead of you know a very expensive hotel which could cost you easily 200 a night so it's like why not so let's see $42 oh let's do this one Harry Potter and fantastic Beast. What's this? Private room and house. Fa Harry Potter and Fantastic Beast fan room with Ricky. Private room and house. Two guests. One bedroom. Sparkling clean. How interesting. Step into the wizarding world. Enjoy a full English breakfast and other breakfast options. Very cool. Let's see. Check availability. So say I want to check in March 26th and check out would be the 27th. And then you could save it. And then you could, let's see. And then you could click book if you wanted to. So it tells you what the price breakdown would be. Oh, so I guess maybe it's more expensive certain nights. But still, that's definitely cheaper than staying at a hotel. And it includes breakfast, Wi-Fi, all the good stuff that a hotel would have. And now I've had friends that have gone to Europe and they used Airbnb instead of hotels. They saved themselves so much money and they still had an awesome experience. You know, I, Airbnb to me is much nicer than like a days in hotel or something like that. Not to say anything bad about a days in, but I'm just saying like you could get like a really, really beautiful house, sparkling clean. Whereas, you know, a days in would be like a small hotel room and maybe a little squish depending on how many people are staying so it's just so easy so all you have to do really is type in where you want to stay find a spot that kind of fits what you're looking for just confirm the dates and all you have to do is hit book it's it's really amazing and there's just so much more that that you could do 
do with this but I, I would say the trips are definitely the most popular thing right now and I, like I said I know people that that host their own place and make extra money anytime they're away for the weekend so really 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 smart so guys this was the Airbnb app I hope that you guys found it useful and have a better idea of how to use it how to work it don't forget it's a free app and super easy to get started with using it so I hope that you guys found my video useful and I thank you so much for watching bye guys